Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I don't know if you guys can get the theme already, but I love sword hands and all of these watches have sword hands. <laughs> I think I have some other ones too put away, but uh, these are the ones that I wear the most. Um, I think sword hands are really legible, far legible, far more legible than other handsets, uh, in my opinion. Um, and especially this style layout on the, on the bezel or on the, on the, um, on the dial. So I just think for military watches, I think this is kind of the best format in my opinion. It's just easy to read at a glance. Um, super, super simple. I mean, you can see these here. You have the Janot silent service, um, no date. You have the Omega Seamaster, Planet Ocean, and then you have the um, MWC, um, Bead Blasted Case, uh, MRP uh, Case, but very, very cool. You also have these two, which you have a black PVD coated one, and then you have one that's not branded MWC. This is actually Aaron's over at the OFD channel, but you can see this one says Elvia, it uh, says Berlin on there, and then Automatic. Uh, just got some German German flair to it, so I think that's real cool. But yeah, this one's all bead blasted. Um, let's check out this other MWC that is also bead blasted. Now these are these MWCs are all the same size case. They're a 42 millimeter, um, 47 tip to tip, and like 13 millimeters in thickness. So um, this one here is running the Miyota high beat. So this is a 28,800 vibrations per hour. And, or you know what? I take that back. I believe this one is 21,600 vibrations per hour, but it does have a 60 hour power reserve. And yes, I did verify that. So this is a 60 hour power reserve. This one here is running the NH35 Seiko movement, uh, same beat rate, but this one has like, I think, you know, like a 40, 40 to 50 hour power reserve right around there. But um, both super cool. And the reason why I want to show them both is the cases are identical. The bezels are identical, except for this one is, is bead blasted color, not PVD, but um, just very cool looking, um, all business, um, you know, no nonsense tool watches. That's what, exactly what these are. Um, both have sapphire crystals, you know, date only, date and time only but um, just very, very cool. Um, but yeah, these are awesome watches. I really like these. Let me put this one on my seven and a half inch wrist so you can get an idea how it fits. And the loom is really good as well on these. <clears throat> I'll do a loom shot, but uh, here's, there's this one on the wrist. Very, very nice watch. These things are just, affordable. I mean, they're like under $400 and you get a lot of watch for the money. You get a really good 120 click bezel. Listen to that smooth action. Look at that. And it lines up and sword hands and these hour markers on this dial. I mean, these go back to the, to the mill subs, to the, to the, uh, you know, the old, uh, 165012 Seamasters. I mean, th these are just a famous dial right here. So famous MRP case, famous dial. Um, you can't go wrong with these watches at all. Cannot go wrong. Um, let's do a loom shot on these. And you know what? I'll just do a loom shot on all of them. Why not? Because you guys need to see that. Who doesn't love loom? Loom is incredible. That's why we, that's one of the reasons don't kid yourself. You know, that's one of the reasons why we love watches so much. Dive watches, especially, is the loom. There's nothing worse than getting a watch. You know, like I've had some Oruses in the past, which they cost a lot more money than these MWCs, and they have terrible loom. So, and yeah, someone's going to say the Aquas has got great loom and all this other stuff, but I uh, I don't think they're, they're that great. But... Um, Excuse me, I had to throw my son's cat out real quick. Um, okay, so anyway, let's uh, let's kill the lights. I do have a little bit of light kind of kind of coming in, but you see these two, how bright they are. Here's this one. Very very bright. 
and we got these two. And like I said, there's there's light coming in, so it's difficult. It really is. But the Omega is, is great. Wish the Omega had a loomed bezel insert like the Janot. I mean, this Janot has really good loom. Terrific loom. But uh, but anyway, just want to share with you guys sword hands, um, why I like them, why I think they're, you know, probably the most legible dive watch configuration, you know, having sword hands and that style dial. I think it's, it's just great. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.